Hi, everybody. This is Katie. Welcome to the final episode of season five. Here, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my island, a theme that I'm calling the life of luxury. It's a wealthy destination style island during the summer. So beautiful tropical colors spread throughout some really fun city vibes. There are two characters, Elodie and Priam. Then they have Marshall, Portia, Blanche, Annalisa, Eugene, Zell, Piper, Apollo, Tasha, and Raymond. All the villagers I chose for this island were because they were black and white and because their houses are also black and white or different shades of gray. The island map ended up looking a little odd because most of the pathing is custom. Here the first thing I'm going to do is give you a little bit of a tour during the day and then we'll also do a little bit of a nighttime tour. The very first thing off the airport here is a little bus stop. It just has a basic drink and snack stand here. And then straight over from that is Nook's Cranny. And then I put together a little bit of an outdoor jewelry store. I wanted this booth to look like it was very luxurious and part of a shopping district. Down a little further, of course, is Able Sisters, a little bit of a, a seating area right out front. And then we'll go down onto the boardwalk. The boardwalk runs the entire span of my island from left to right on the bottom part here all the way from the dock to the other ocean and I really like that it does a little bit of a tier so there's a boardwalk on the bottom here on the beach and also up here on the top. So I'm just going to walk down the boardwalk. You'll see as many places as I could I tried to use some really beautiful black and white themed items to go with the color scheme for the island. I wanted it to look fancy, like the kind of boardwalk where you would want to come and visit if you were gonna go on a really amazing summer vacation. Over here you can see I've got a little bit of a park area that's part of the boardwalk. I thought it would be really cool to have that teacup ride. And then of course we have the cotton candy up here just so that it could be a really fun place. I can imagine packing up and bringing the whole family out. Down here at the very end is a little bit of a campsite. The campsite didn't perfectly fit in the theme, so I decided to just make a very straightforward beach campsite. Right up from that is the museum. You can see I've got a lighthouse down here on the beach and just some really pretty little beach spaces that I've blocked off so you can't go back any further. And I'll show you why you can't go back any further on the beach a little bit later. I really like the way that this bridge was lined up so pretty with the double waterfall behind it. And then I have three houses here. All of them have the beautiful rounded roofs. Over here, if we look at resident services, you can see the flag. I made this little sparkly diamond to go on the flag for the island. Again, trying to incorporate some fanciness into the space. Down from there, I'm gonna take you back to the neighborhood. I really like the way that these two bridges looked so close together. I've got my second profile character's house out here. A little bit of a chess place right there on the beach. There's a fun place to sit. I do try and incorporate a lot of really pretty little seating areas throughout my island. Over here on the peninsula, I've created a bench out here where you can sit and enjoy a view of the ocean. And then right behind that is an area to sit and paint and create art. Down from this area here, up from this area, you can see I have all the rest of the houses lined up and each and every one of them has a pool in the backyard. Because it is a luxurious island and a wealthy island, I thought it would be really cool if all the villagers had their own pool. There's a little park back here for kids in the neighborhood to come play and uh, just a basic little greenery area. This space back here wasn't very large, but I wanted to incorporate some green and you can see there's a path so it leads back to the secret beach. 
Right here by Blanche and Annalise's house is just a tiny little zen garden I thought would be a good match since their houses have a little bit of that feel to them and have kept the beaches pretty clean and, and very straightforward. I don't always like having a lot of stuff on my beach. I find that they are more enjoyable as a beach if there are just some beautiful trees and flowers with little things here and there. I did try to keep the neighborhoods pretty consistent up here. I wanted the road to run in a really good straight line. Here's a good view. You can see those pools in the backyard and I've used the iron gate fencing and even fenced off some of the palm trees. So it would look like it was a really well kept area. The fanciest part of the island is part of my own home estate. So we're gonna go up this incline here and it enters in, there's a little bit of a rose garden and then back into an event area. This area has been put together to really enjoy a lot of very cool parties because I think having a fun party area is an important part of having a mansion on the island and this was the best place to put it. There's a little bit of a fountain over here and I'm gonna show you guys what the mansion looks like from the outside. I created this beautiful, I don't know, just kind of a landing space up here where there was some greenery and rocks, but also a place where you could stop and look at the mansion all together. I wanted it to look huge. I wanted it to look like a really immense mansion. So I'll just pan up here. You can see I've used a lot of gold tones and simple panels and bookshelves to create the illusion that my house was much, much bigger. Got a statue down here and I'm going to take you down into the mansion area itself now. I went ahead and put some really pretty gardens down here, mostly black and gold roses. And there's a lot of lighting down in here too so that it would look good at nighttime. And then I put together this path that's part of a patio porch deck area with a cityscape in back. I wanted it to look like the mansion was up on a hill and that there was this vast and bustling city behind it. So the entire city view was put together from the perspective of this outdoor patio area. I really like the way that it looks at night, so I'll be able to show you guys what that looks like here soon. Before we switch over to see the island at night, I do want to pop in the house real fast and show you some of the rooms that I put together inside of my mansion. I keep my basement as a trophy room, so we'll skip that as part of the tour. But we'll take a look here. You can see my main room is this elegant landing spot, this entrance way with the fountain and is a, a really beautiful connector, makes the house look big. And then over here, the room on the right is an office. I wanted the office to have some of the pops of gold and red incorporated, even though the house is mostly a black and white theme. I really like the way that this room came together because it was kind of some unique items that I was able to use. And then the room in the very back is the bathroom. This room is not black and white. It's the room that I had in my house before. I just adjusted a couple things in here, but I couldn't bring myself to redo it because I really love it. And as long as I'm happy with the room, I didn't feel the need to change it. Over here on the left is the dining room. I decided I didn't need a kitchen because that would be part of a part of the mansion that you couldn't see. So I put together a little bit of a formal dining room in here with some really pretty artwork on the wall and some pops of green. And then the last room in the house is my bedroom up here. And I really like the way that the gold panels fit behind the bed. I really like the box sofa looking very modern and crisp up here and kind of a seating area with the television. Just a, a lot of gold and yellow tones mixed in with a very good variety of darker furniture so that it would look elegant. I want to show you what a couple of these areas look like at night. You can see as I walk through the town that it's lit up pretty well with all the street lamps. So there's a lot of good lighting down here and it really makes a beautiful place to come and play on the islands at any time of day. But there are a couple areas of the island that I designed specifically to be amazing at night. And those are up here with my mansion. 
So the first one is in the party area. And I think this place is so magical at night. I love all the little twinkle lights and the candle lights. And it just looks like it would be such an amazing place to come and have a party during the middle of a beautiful summer evening. So I definitely like the way that this area looks like during the night. I also want to show you what the mansion looks like. It's not fully lit up everywhere, but you can definitely see where some of the lighting is incorporated. I use the floor lights on the ground in the front so that the different garden areas would look really fancy. And I like the way that the mansion actually looks bigger when some of it fades into the background. But the last area I want to show you is what the cityscape looks like at night as this area was specifically designed for the dark. You can see all of the things that have lights, the pretty little server lights look like windows. There's a lot of really good elements that look as if they're part of town down there. And I like the way that the items in the back fade into the distance in a way that it, it definitely feels more like I'm on this big beautiful back patio of my mansion with this town that really is behind me that it's at the top of the hill a little bit looking into the background. I want to share a few of my favorite moments from this island. I loved sharing season five with you. I hope you found something useful here and that you continue creating in this game. Until next time, have the best Animal Crossing day.